Hi. Hi. We're the Forest City Net Girls. I'm Carrie. I'm Patty. I'm June. And this is episode 71. <laughs> we have the giggles, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is episode 71. Yes. For reals it is. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we're a knitting podcast from London, Ontario. June and I are sisters, and Carrie's our friend. And we're going to talk about our knitting and yeah. some other stuff, probably. Yeah. But all knitting related, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. So um, in southern Ontario, we have not had much winter at all this no. year. So I guess we've been pretty fortunate, although it seems a little strange (laughs) that there wasn't very much snow. Mm. Yeah. And uh, lots of rain and mild weather. Yeah. Different. Yeah, it's different. (laughs) I think I'd rather have snow. I know we like to complain about cold and snow, but... We need it. We need the environment needs it. The dogs I, need it. I know. <laughs> I know. The dog. Our dogs love snow. Yes. So we all have dogs. But yeah. I just keep thinking that we're gonna have a really bad bug season. Oh my gosh! <clears throat> you know what? Last night I took the dogs for a walk and we went under a tree and there were all these weird bugs. <laughs> See, like a, we walked through a swarm of bugs and they're biting us and they're biting the dogs. <laughs> it is going to be a I bad know. bug season. That's a, and I thought that. And I, thought, I already had a mosquito mm. in my car today. Mm. I, I've been seeing them in my house every now and then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Yeah. So, and it's mm-hmm. what, uh, mid-March? Weird. Yeah. Anyways. Mm-hmm. So that's the weather report from London, Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> How about we start talking about our knitting? Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Do we want to do oh, the okay. draw and yeah. the giveaway talk first? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so we are running a year-long knit along, and it's the year of the whips. So this is a great time to join in if you want to work through some of your whips. We're trying hard to do that as well. Trying not to cast on everything. And <laughs> <laughs> trying. <laughs> trying. Um, so anyways, every time we podcast, we are going to draw a prize and from the FO thread. So there is a, chat, a chatter thread and an FO thread in our Ravelry group um, under Forest City Knit Girls. And so we have several finished um, objects posted already. And we randomly chose a winner from the thread. And I'm just going to do it this way. So the winner is uh, Norm AG. Congrats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the whip. Her name's Norm. I I checked her Ravelry page. So Mm -hmm. Norma finished... uh, I guess it's Norma G, yeah. right? I don't know why. That's okay. I Sometimes it's hard when they're all it's all yeah. together. Yeah, to I know. I have a hard time mm-hmm. with that. I don't know why, but anyways, Norma G. <laughs> Very yeah. pretty soft. Yes. Congrats. Mm-hmm. And your prize is there's quite a bit of things in here. Sorry, I'm gonna make a little bit of noise. So you're gonna going to get three skeins of this pretty blue yarn. So springy and pretty. Yes. And it is Australian wool, um, 100%, oh, pear tree yarn. And it's got a really cool tag on yeah, it. Yeah, it's tag. tag. Hmm. So there's three skeins of this. I think it's worsted weight. It, it feels, looks like worsted. Yeah, it feels like worsted weight. Um, a little packet, some needle point, what are they called? Needle stoppers. Needle stoppers. And then a packet of soap, one of our bookmarks. And also, I'm gonna send it to Vacuum Seal, but this is a sock set from Camp Fiber Yarns. Um, <clears throat> it's called, can't see. What eggnog, it. something eggnog. Yeah, something oh. eggnog. Maybe holiday eggnog mm. sock set. It's that's really pretty colors. Mm-hmm. So it's kind very of pretty. It is very pretty. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell, um, but you, this is the uh, main color, and then you also get like a darker mini as well to go along with it. Nice. Yeah. So this was actually donated 
Well, actually what happened was um, the, the dyer sent me two of these by accident. <laughs> so I thought I'd donate the second oh, one. Uh, very nice. And this one with the drink recipe, right? Um, <coughs> that was that club. I don't uh, think yeah, it was no. that club that okay. had yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. There was only, there wasn't a recipe for okay. the second one. Yeah, mm. so sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's really a nice prize. Yeah, so that's very exciting. So, mm -hmm. uh, Norma, if you could um, contact us with your mailing address, and I can get that out to you next week. I'm really excited for you to get this. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. That is such a pretty blue. It's like a robin's egg. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's spring color. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, we can't guarantee when we'll podcast next. But I will get a prize for the next time we do one, and um, and we'll have another prize to send out for our year of the whip along. Yeah, very exciting. Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> and thanks to everyone who's participating. It's lots of fun. It's very inspiring for us to try to get our whips done too, even though it's hard sometimes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then. And then, and then, <laughs> we are going to do also this week, or this episode, sorry, we're going to do a um, draw on YouTube. I can't talk to <laughs> so okay. Maybe you should explain it, <laughs> Sherry. <laughs> so we're going to do a YouTube giveaway as well with this episode, and we'll draw at our next episode. So it'll just stay open until we record again. Um, but we're going to ask all of you that watch this um, to comment in in the actual episode. What is what either what book are you reading right now, or what TV show are you watching right now? Like, give us some good tips on yeah. books that we can pick up and read, yeah. as well as any new shows while we knit. Yes. Yeah. Um, so that's all you have to do is list a good book or a good show, and uh, awesome. we'll randomly draw a winner for this beautiful. Um, Gorgeous. Two skeins of the Knitting Loft Starlight, which is their Stellina. It's the sparkly one. And the colorway of this is called Apple Blossom. Yes. Yeah, so I think you can it's see the so sparkle. You can. can. Yeah. It is a, the sparkliest mm -hmm. yarn I have ever seen in my life. Yeah. yeah. Honestly. Yeah. It's beautiful. And you get a lot of yardage on it, too. Yeah. Like there's three something, I think. Or? Yeah, probably. I can't read. It's quite a bit. 316 yards. Yeah. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah. You could even like maybe do like a love note or like a smaller Ooh, sweater. That would be beautiful. Yeah, that would be beautiful mm. for sure. Yeah, so thank you to the Knitting Law for mm -hmm. sending us that lovely prize. And uh, we will be happy to send it off to somebody on our next episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we'll be happy to get some recommendations. Yes, yes. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so um, to enter this giveaway, it, you just comment on the video, this video below, and it'll, you know, and we'll just randomly draw from the comments that we get on this video. <laughs> Sorry. That's, That's perfect. perfect. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I, oh God. I feel like this week has been a struggle yeah. with just brain fog in general, and I think oh, it's because yeah. of the time the change. change. It must be. Yeah. yeah, and I don't think I've ever felt it before until this year. Yeah. But it's been a rough couple mornings yes. with this time change. It's yeah, weird. Mm -hmm. It is weird. So, yeah, yeah. All right, so that's our giveaway and our um, Ravelry year of the whip. Along. <laughs> yeah. Stop. You, you're making me giggle. <laughs> okay. Okay. On to actual knitting content. Okay. Um, we'll talk about what we're wearing and then we'll get into some finished objects and some whips that we're working on too. Yep, sounds good. Sounds good. All right, who wants to go first? Do you want to start? start first? Yeah. Okay. I wore this because or because I don't think I've ever worn this before on our podcast. I have shown it. Hmm. Anyway, it's a love note. Um, I made it a couple years ago. It's showing very it's showing very holy. So I'm wearing like a a tank top. A, or a blouse underneath because it is quite breezy like I think you have to wear something under it <laughs> I would think so <laughs> it's a little <laughs> revealing <laughs> it's quite 
there might be a, a, <laughs> might be a couple at that season. Yeah, so keep that in mind. Yeah, I know a lot of people have knit this without the lace. They just mm. do it as a certain, and they love it, like they say, because it's a really nice fitting sweater. It is. Yeah. So I made mine um, three-quarter sleeves. They're too tight. <laughs> <laughs> the cuff is too tight, so that's as far up as I can pull it. <laughs> and I keep sitting, and this is why I don't wear this sweater, and all I have to do is just unravel right. it and re-knit it again with a stretchier bind off, um, and then it would be perfect. Mm -hmm. um, I knit this with holding a fingering weight yarn with, um, it's not boucle, it's oh, slub. slub, with the slub yarn. The slub yarn is from Full Moon Fibers, and the fingering weight yarn is like was like a, I forget the name of it, but it was from, I believe, um, Songbird Fibers, oh. I believe. Um, anyway, it was just a plain gray. So it really did, I think the combination really, worked well to kind of tone down the slug because there was a lot of colors in it. It looks beautiful. Yeah, thank really you. Nice. Thank you, I love it. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, it's a fun knit. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely do another one. Did you say mm -hmm. it's by Tin Can Knits? Did you say that? By Tin Can, no, I did not. Okay. Yeah, by Tin Can Knits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It is Thanks. beautiful. I can't remember knitting it, though, like, because it was like a couple of years ago. <laughs> But it is, I know it's a very popular pattern. Oh yes, and for mm -hmm. a reason because it's it's a, it's a nice roomy fit. Have you know, you knit it's that the love knit mm -hmm. before? No, no. Mm -hmm. You? Yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah, yeah a while ago, but <clears throat> mine's white, I think. Or mm. Oh, the I in remember. It. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a good summer top because of its, it's breeziness. Built <laughs> <laughs> so in air amazing. conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I'm wearing the uh, Notra by Isabel Kramer. Um, it's a bulky weight sweater, I think. Is this one you knit like in a week for Christmas? I did. <laughs> I knit it super, super fast. I was like, wanted something, a new sweater for Christmas. So I, it literally took me seven days to knit this. That's amazing. But bulky weight, right? Mm -hmm. So um, it went pretty quick and I did work mad on it though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I really like it. I actually, so it's a bulky weight sweater, knit top down um, with color work. Um, I yeah, I don't think it's mosaic. I think it's color work. And, uh, but I used worsted weight and then paired it with um, mohair. Mm -hmm. um, and and uh, the yarns that I used were, I need to go back to my page. I have to look things up these days. So um, the gray color, the worsted weight was from Custom Woolen Mills in light gray, and then I used um, the silk mohair from Knitting for Olive in Sky. And then the color work I used, a Spin Cycle Plump, which is a newer yarn for them. It's their bulky white yarn. And I was like super excited to try it. Um, and I used the colorway of Ghost Ranch. Uh, yeah, so it's got just simple color work. And then also around the waistband and the cuffs, there's a little bit um, more color work. So cute. Yeah. I love That's that sweater. Really cute. Mm -hmm. I really like it too. Mm -hmm. For your um, mohair, was it just one strand? Uh, yeah. So one strand of mohair and worst weight equals bulky? It worked out fine. That's amazing. So. Now the custom woolen mill, the, their yarn mm -hmm. I feel is bordering air and mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. it's a Pretty, it's yeah. They call it worsted weight, but it's it's got some girth to it. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> but it's quite nice. Uh, it washed up nicely and blocked nicely, and I'm I'm just really happy with it. I think it it's cute. It is really it's cute. very Thank cute. You. Nice. And then I'm wearing my Chalet Days by Samantha Gurren. Um, we all knit it a while ago. I've just never actually worn it on an episode. I've shown it as a finished object. Um, and I knit this out of uh, La Vie Anime Corey Worsted. Um, I cannot remember 
the colors. The gray is Aveline, I think. Yeah, that sounds and right. And then, the, oh, Flora, Flora Morganite? Yeah. Mm. Is the pink? Yeah, that sounds right. Patty's was opposite of mine, so yeah. her my color work was her main color, and my main color was her color work, so yeah. we have the opposites. Yeah. And then June's was this beautiful navy blue with, like, another aqua, blue in it. Aqua, like aqua. aqua. Yeah, it's almost got green color mm -hmm. it was mm -hmm. really pretty yeah mm -hmm. top down construction um yeah great sweater to knit i loved yeah. it yeah it was fun to knit mm -hmm. <clears throat> i got a lot of wares out of this it's starting to need a little <laughs> bit of a shave on the oh yeah arms, <laughs> but yeah super comfy yeah. it's a really nice fitting mm -hmm. sweater and it was a quick knit Mm -hmm. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess because it's worsted weight, right? Yeah. So and not too complicated no. in the color work or no. anything. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Yeah. yeah, I love it. I love both of your colors. Thanks. Like really nice. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. I would get another one of those. Mm -hmm. Would you guys? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uh, there's mm -hmm. so many of her I patterns know. that I've listed True. that I'm like, I need to knit this one. Totally. I need to knit really good pattern writing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. For sure. With, yeah. With her design, so and cute. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Yeah. 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 I have yarn set aside for another one of her sweaters that I just need to get some whips done before I get it on. Yeah. 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 So that's what we're wearing. Now, shall we show our FOs? Mm -hmm. Yep. Who wants to go first? <laughs> sure. Let's keep going from left to right. <laughs> okay. I only have one. Um, okay, so I literally just finished this today. I was knitting on my lunch break, and then I finished it up after work. And uh, it is the Batty Cat Shawl. Mm, so pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. Yeah, by Sweater Freak. And um, yeah, it's still wet. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> is it mosaic knitting? It's mosaic knitting. Nice. It's really um, cool. Yeah. Really it's nice. so cool. I see the bats and Yeah, bats. me too. Mm -hmm. I was just looking for that. So cat and then that's yeah, the bat. bat. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's great. Cool. I, I can, never even can, noticed that. No. You can really see it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very, very well written pattern. Like every, de like, like every detail is in there. It, it's just... I love it. I love how it all came together. It's just perfect. Yeah, her patterns are it's perfect. Well written, very well written. Yeah, I really like it. I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this because um, it's kind of a to me. This is kind of a neutral. Oh, totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would. It will go with a lot. Mm -hmm. It's really nice, and it has sparkle. I know. Yeah, yeah. It's the same um, mini lock yarn. I'm gonna the get sun. my tags out. Yeah. So it was fun. This is my first time knitting a full, like finishing a project with no mosaic knitting. And I really like it. Mosaic knitting is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. You can see that sparkle, eh? Oh, you yeah. Can. It's awesome. You can. It's such a pretty color. It's beautiful. Yeah. So the um, yarn that I used is, sorry, I gotta get the other tag. <clears throat> okay, so this is called Purple Moon is the colorway for the sparkly yarn. From the knitting loft, the so the lighter light, color, the lighter color, yeah. yeah. And then the navy blue is Flower Hill fleeces, and it's um, blue faced lester. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Sport um, hand dyed. So I used um, probably how many yards are in here? I had to go into a second scheme for both. Three, yeah. So probably about four hundred. I think it's four hundred um, meters of yarn that you'll need. Hmm. Yeah, around there. Yeah. I think that's what she wrote in the pattern too. Around four, four fifty to like just to be safe. Yeah. Anyway, I love it. The thing Great I like pattern. about um, mm -hmm. Jen, Jenny's sweater freaks um, patterns is they're um, they're well written but uncomplicated. Mm -hmm. They're very straightforward, mm -hmm. and you like literally just you know, I don't know. Yeah, they're easy to follow. Very easy. Yeah, yeah, the chart was really easy. I've never worked on a mosaic chart before, but the way she set it up was easy to follow. It was repeats, like you just count the, I don't know, it was just really good. Good. Yeah, and I really, I love the little I-cord edging all the way around. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. So That's it started, great. even though it's so it's triangle and how it, it started um, down here. Oh okay. At the end and it so you just it's a straight edge. I blocked mine funny, I'm gonna re-block it, but it's a straight edge and then you do increase on one side and yeah. then you decrease. Oh, nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Good job, Jim. Yeah, Thank you. it's beautiful. Thank you, I love it. Good day to wear it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> Even though it's wet. <laughs> I'm going to show um, I have two FOs, but it's the same pattern. So um, we'll be airing this podcast in a couple of days, but this pattern was released today. And when we aired this episode, you will still have um, a discount if you want this pattern on Saturday, which is the last day for the discount. Um, but it's called the Dark Matter Cowl. It's so pretty. Yeah. It's really pretty. Your Instagram post today, I was just like, whoa. <laughs> it is gorgeous. Those colors are amazing. Yeah. And uh, so this is a um, cowl designed by Cheryl Faust. And she also is a fabulous mosaic designer. Like, I think most of her patterns or uh, plenty of her patterns are of uh, mosaic knitting and I have been loving cowls lately so every time she posts for uh, test knitters for a cowl I sign up because I love yeah. love her cowls I think they're so well written and if I turn it around so that's you, cool you knit the first part in flat so like about to here of the triangle and then you join in the round. Um, but the way she has you join in the round is like seamless. utterly seamless. Wow. Like look at that. It just right? blends right into the pattern. Yeah. You can't tell. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I can't say enough about her patterns. They're lovely. Um, and it's, this is a called a bandana style cowl and it's very easy to wear. You just, Pop it on over your head, and there you go. Looks good under a jacket. Um, like there's enough neck room where it keeps your neck warm if it's cold. I'm getting one of these on my needles tonight. Oh, you should. Now that I yeah. finished this, yeah, you should. <laughs> so right now she has 20% uh, off this pattern until. Um, Saturday, which is the day you'll see this episode. Yeah. Uh, so the yarns that I used in this one, I used um, the dark color is uh, Brooklyn Tweed Dapple in the colorway oh. Anchor. And then I used the Yarn Therapist, her DK Plump 85, and it's a fade. Um, and it is Winter Sunrise beautiful yeah oh, those colors are amazing yeah. they are yeah. it does look like a sunrise so you can knit this pattern in um oh my gosh I light worsted that. or dk weight is what it's called for um you could probably use fingering as well but you might have to uh it might be a little smaller i think but it would still work Looks good, good on yeah. Me. <laughs> I love the color. I don't know what it is with this, but this one seems mm -hmm. to look good in everybody. Mm -hmm. Like, it's the yellow. I, I guess, yeah. June's like, There's I don't need to put one on my needles. I'm just gonna take. I it know. Off. Like, yeah, yeah. She has two. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> um, yeah, and so I loved it so much. I made another one. And this one I think is super pretty it's so too. Pretty. You should try this one on too, Carrie. That's the, um, the yarn that I used in this one is uh, from Camp mm -hmm. Fiber Yarns. See? It looks good. Yeah. It does. It does. Yeah, not bad. It looks yeah. good on everybody. So pretty. Um, so in this one, uh, the bright pink color is Berry Peach Bellini. And then the darker trimmed color is raspberry syrup. Oh, those are cute names. Yeah. yeah. Very and beautiful. Yeah. So nice. Thanks. They were fun. 
I'm, I highly recommend you cast on one of Cheryl's cowls. I'm going to. You I'm, I bought a pattern. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's all do it. And they don't take that that long because, you uh-huh. know, it's you can use light worsted or DK weight. And uh, it's it's a small project. So yeah. it won't take gorgeous. too much time away from your mm-hmm. whips. Yeah. <laughs> I have the perfect yard already picked out. Oh, nice. I can't wait to see. I'm going to keep this one on. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to put my shawl back on. Even though it's wet, it's warm. <laughs> um, I only have one FO, and it'll be really quick. This was one of my whips that I showed our last episode oh, yeah. that I was going to work on. I still haven't even leaved in the ends. <laughs> Just tuck those in. Um, and I forgot my sock things. Oh, do you so, want mine? No, that's okay. We'll those are the this. cutest socks ever. So these so are cute. the work socks. Are these um, for your husband? Yeah. They um, look like store-bought socks. They do. Like, they look perfect. They do. This is the Leo and Roxy work sock sets, which I think they've stopped hmm. producing. Really? Yeah. They had a thing out about their mar- marled sock sets are coming to an end. Yeah. Shoot. Oh, so, they're so nice. Very nice. Just a vanilla sock. I didn't follow any pattern. Mm-hmm. And then I just, you know, decided to throw in a stripe up here and it looks alternate great. with your own toe so that they're different. They do look store-bought. Yeah. yeah. Gorgeous. But better because yeah. they were made with love. Yes. Right. <laughs> oh, and they're so soft. They are. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. So one of my whips that I committed to finishing at our last episode is done. Nice. That's a pretty color for the contrast. Mm-hmm. Is the it dark gray? Oh, yeah, it's dark gray. Like how it's uh, it tonal. almost has mm-hmm. like a blue tone. It could just yeah. be yeah. a lighting, but I could at first I Gorgeous. thought maybe it was like a steel blue or something. Mm-hmm. It's really nice. Yeah, he's so lucky. Does he know he's getting them? No. Oh, nice. I've just left them sitting. Uh huh. Oh, there's a dog here. <laughs> um, sitting there until I. Show them. <laughs> so I'll weave in the ends and get that finished, and then he can have them. Very nice. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, I have a couple other. Um, FOs, of course. <laughs> um, one is um, another cowl, and it's not released yet. Ooh, um, that's pretty cute. Yeah. You are using a lot of bright colors lately. I know, like orange and pink uh-huh. and. Yeah, that's pretty. So this is the um, lati lati latis no lattice shawl lattice <laughs> lattice <laughs> lattice <laughs> is it? I don't know. What does that say? Latis. <laughs> It'll be across the bottom. You can okay. All pronounce yeah. it. <laughs> This will be um, released, I think, mm-hmm. this month on um, March the nineteenth. It was, she changed the date, so it was already supposed to be released. That's why I haven't done so soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a um, cowl with a twist. What are those called again? Mobius, Mobius. Mobius. cowl. Um, and, and basically, you just knit it in a tube and then kit, uh, like turn the corners, put them together. Not the corners. <laughs> the ends. The ends. <laughs> Put them together and then Kitchener stitch it. Oh, cool. Yeah. Beautiful. So it has the Who's twist it by? in it. It's by Tanya Barley. Mm-hmm. And she's also an amazing um, pattern writer. And I love her work so much. I've been test knitting quite a bit for her. Um, yeah. So it's really cute with a little twist. Uh, I like the twist in it. Yeah. It's different. It makes it lay differently. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like it off to the side. Mm-hmm. Kind of like that. Beautiful. Yeah, it's so yeah. pretty. Um, so the colors that I use, the dark color is, uh, I forget the name of the color, but it's a yarn, a fingering weight yarn by Northbound Knitting. And then I paired it with a black mohair, so it's nice and soft. And then the bright contrast color is a Leo and Roxy uh, fingering weight as well. And it is, uh, oh, there's the tag, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember. Oh, it's one of their pride colorways. It's one of their pride colorways. It's La Dollar Bean. Mm. It's so cool how it turned out because I 
I have this too. Do you have this one too, Carrie? Yeah. yeah. And I wasn't sure what it would look like knit up, but now. Me either. I love it's gorgeous. it. But I yeah. think it's really nice. It is gorgeous. Cowl. Yeah. I don't know what it would look like, like if you knit it with like a pair of socks out of it. Probably It'd be stripy, funky. right? Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> I have some left I may try. I like how you did it though. It has kind of a window pane look. Yeah. A lattice look. Yes. <laughs> Maybe that's why she called it, <laughs> called it that. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. But it's spelled differently from how we spell it. So. I guess so, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's coming. That'll be released on March the 19th. So you can look for that. And then uh, Caitlin Hunter came out with a new hat design. And it is called Cold Hearts. Um, I think the yarns that I used were Barocco Vintage. And then for the darker color, I used, um, I paired it with a mohair. It's That's really pretty. so pretty. I know. The contrast is amazing. Yeah. Really pretty. It is mm -hmm. very pretty. It was a quick knit because it's worsted weight, um, but really fun because mm -hmm. of the color work. Very engaging. I made the large size, and unfortunately, it sits on my head pretty tall. <laughs> I look a little gnomish. <laughs> it just kind of pops up. Eh? I wonder if you put a pom pom on if it oh, yeah. weighed it down a bit. Yeah, yes. I was thinking about that, mm -hmm. but you know, I'm just gonna put it up. It's like the Pope's hat. <laughs> Nothing against the Pope's hat, but that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> I tried you like to get one of all too, and then when you guys go for a while, we stand up. I'm doing that on purpose, <laughs> but it is quite a lot yeah, of room. Out there. Roomy, that's the thing, it's roomy. <laughs> you can wear a bun. I'm so <laughs> <laughs> we are definitely giddy tonight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry guys. But I'm like, every time I put it on, I try to like pull it down to make it a slouchy, but I just keep popping on the can. I have a hat like that I too. think it needs a pom-pom. Yeah. It does, it does. Yeah, it's a big one, yeah. and that'll weigh it down. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, you'll forget. do that. Because if you wear it out, you'll forget that you keep needing to put it down, and it just and it'll be <laughs> Walking around, <laughs> pretending I'm the Pope. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, we're not laughing at the pattern. Because no. <laughs> it's a great pattern. I love it. It's just the way it hits me. It's a little strange. <laughs> it's a bit hurtful. <laughs> No, it is a beautiful pattern. It is. Like, it's gorgeous. Yeah. And it was fun. I highly recommend it. Um, but if you don't want one so tall, she has a small size as well. Okay. So. No, it'll totally work with the pom pom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> What is wrong with that? <laughs> it's the time change, I swear. It is. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. But what about this color? Oh, the that color? That is beautiful. Um, oh, let me look that up. I think it's, actually, I think you're talking about the purple the color. purple, yeah. I think it's called Petal. Okay. Yeah. It's really gorgeous. Pretty. And, and it's a Morocco color, too? It's a Morocco mm, color, yeah. Yes. that. And then the uh, other one is, I mm -hmm. think it's just their dark gray or charcoal or something. Yeah, yeah one that's of them. really nice. Yeah. Fun pattern to knit. <clears throat> um, and then, so I'm going to, I have two more and they are old whips that I nice. finished. Nice. Yes. yes. So I'm going to look this up and let you know when I cast this on. This looks so comfy mm -hmm. and yeah. warm. Uh, there we are. Camping socks. Yes. yes, totally. So I cast these on uh, February 26, 2023, and finished them on March 10th of 2024. Nice. Beautiful. Yay. In less than a year. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. 
No, just over a year. When did you cast on? February. February. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yes. <laughs> Wait a sec. That doesn't sound right. Yeah, so um, it, these were a lot of fun, actually, and really super quick. I don't know why I knit one sock, so I was having one sock syndrome and just, just never cast on the second one. Um, but I'm glad once I cast it on, like, it took me probably, I don't know, maybe like four or five evenings to, mm -hmm. to knit them. Nice. Um, so it's DK weight, but she calls for, uh, sorry, it's, they're called the Bear Paw Socks by Andrea Mowry. And um, you hold two strands of fingering together. So wow. all, cool. all the way through, and you use two different colors. Mm -hmm. Um, so the toe is knit with just the gray, and then when I get to this part, then you mix your, marl them. Oh, you marl, marl the two oh, yarns together to get the marl. And then the heel construction was really interesting on this sock. Oh, I right. really, really enjoyed doing the heel. Um, it's a toe up sock and, uh, super cozy and, and thick. They'll be great for camping, like yeah. I said. Great. Yeah, yeah, I actually wanted to pair of these. Yeah. I love, I Do you love, remember the yarn you used? Because that orangey mm -hmm. color is gorgeous. It's in there. I used, um, sorry, I have a little basket of the yarns yarn. that I use. I used it's the patterns, patterns yeah, for mm -hmm. both. Other side. Um... So this gray, oh, this is a, sorry, drops. This is, the gray was drops, and it's just like a medium gray color. Mm -hmm. And then this was the patents, and it's called um, Canyon. It's beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We, I think you got it the same place I did. They had at Mary Maxim before it closed down. They had oh, a bin yeah. with all this, the patents yarn. For, it was dirt cheap. Oh, right. Like yeah. a couple dollars. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah. So you have this too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really nice, Sharon. Yeah. These are gorgeous. Thank you. They were fun. Is the Mary Maxim still open in Paris? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Fun little craft store to go to. I know. Yeah. Because they have it everything. Is. It is fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so the other one that, uh, my other whip is my gold wing. And I think I cast this on like a couple of years ago. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find that project page. Da, da, da. Oh, there it is. So I cast this one on April 9th, 2020. Whoa. So like four years ago. That's amazing. It's yeah. off the needles. <laughs> and it's off the needles. Wow. And I love this main color. It is beautiful. It's so pretty. It's, um, yeah, the color combination is amazing. Yeah, I really like it too. Mm -hmm. The fit's nice. The wow. arm, the sleeves turned out slightly long, mm -hmm. but but not too long. Like they don't go past my fingertips, but they and Hang you on, and you can't like roll it up really, right? Because mm -hmm. you want to see the color work. So there's color work on the sleeves or the cuffs and. It's beautiful. It's it gorgeous. Beautiful color work. Is it worsted? Uh, it is. Um, the yarns that I used are uh, Knitting for Olive in their aqua color. Mm. And then this uh, brown color is Moose. And then I paired it with a mohair. Right. And I have no idea where I got so this mohair pretty. from. But... Uh, it's really nice monk. It's got like coppery mm -hmm. gold yeah. flex yeah. in it, which makes it really nice. So you can kind of see a little bit yeah. of that right there. But That's so nice. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm really, really work. Really mm -hmm. happy to have this off the needles. I wish I could knit faster. <laughs> <laughs> I need new sweaters, mm -hmm. too, but they take so long. Okay. Tell our FOs. That's all my FOs. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're on to our whips. Okay, sounds good. June, do you want to show a whip? Yeah, or? sure. Yeah, I only have uh, two. I have one that we're all working on. What one? The color work one? 
Oh, the yoke alone? The yoke alone? That? I didn't bring mine. No? I haven't been working on mine, okay. and I showed mine last time, but I haven't okay. made any progress on it. Did yeah, I'll show mine. Yeah, okay. I did. Excellent. I did knit on this right after the podcast. I knit this for about a week before I started this. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to see. Ooh, Carrie. Yeah, I haven't made a ton of progress. I was, I did make progress yeah. in getting the color work all done. Mm. But uh, then I stopped. Looks great. Nice. Ooh, my yours too, colors. June. Yeah, I separated. I got. You guys are gonna match. I know. <laughs> they they look very. That similar. looks so good. Both of them. Mm. Oh my gosh, ladies. Yeah. So Love this them. is the mystery yoke along that Zanette Knits put out. Um, so she was releasing. It in four sections, I think. I think it was called Do You Do oh, You Do You Do You Yoke. Yoke. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, so yeah, it's great. The color work goes beyond the sleeve separation. And then now it's just knitting the main color for the rest of the body. And then the color work continues on the, the sleeves. Yeah. Does it? Uh, so yeah. when you it does. Oh. And that's why I stopped mine because I had oh. to buy another skein. That's of right. My contrast color. Right. And I did receive it, but then I lost momentum. So yeah. I need to pick it up yeah. again and finish it. Yeah. Me too. So nice. I think yeah. I'm going to yeah. start working on this again. You should. Yeah. Both. We so, all should finish. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. Ooh, that can be our goal. Yeah. Have them done by the next time. We yeah. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yes. What colors did you use, Jim? Um, okay, so I used the spin, I used Spin Cycle, and I know the color name. It's called Cold Comfort. So and great. then for great. the gray, it's um, it's in Little Sport, and it is dark gray. <laughs> nice. So you guys are making me want to cast on a dark gray. Sweater. <laughs> yeah, it was never so before. Good. This is my first dark gray sweater. Yeah, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. They both are. I know. Yeah. I like like the difference. Like yours looks more prominent. The the color. Yeah, because I just used two solid colors mm -hmm. versus the the changing color of spin cycle, but yeah. I still think it's prominent. But, like yeah. it's very gorgeous, prominent. June. It's mm -hmm. amazing, June. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. Yeah. It looks I love so them both. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank and you. Carrie's is, oh, is so elegant. Yeah. Oh, thank you. This is the thank Juniper you. Moon Far Farms Patagonia that we all love mm -hmm. a lot. Um, just in their, I think the dark gray is called like a ramp. Aransite or oh, something yeah. like that, yeah. and then light gray. Oh, I just got that, some Aransite. Did you? Yeah, that's this one. Yeah, nice. Good. This is very elegant. Oh, like you could like when it's you're done, classic. you could wear it dressy. It's classic. Mm. It's gorgeous. I yeah. loved knitting this color work. Yeah, mm -hmm. the it's chart was so, so yeah. easy to follow. Like it's she, intricate, but yeah. but not. Yeah, yeah, like. And even though it was intricate because it was simple at the same time if you go row by row. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And you yeah. can remember it easily, just do a couple of repeats and then you're good you're, for the whole yeah. round. Yeah. 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 It is time consuming though, because mm -hmm. there are there are a lot of stitches on the needle yes. before you separate, but it's fun. Yeah. Like it's a process knit, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm gorgeous. excited to pick this mm -hmm. back up and I think we you should, should that done. should be our goal, yeah. is have these sweaters done. Okay. We'll all wear them. Yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah, the yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, that is whip one. Oh, love. <laughs> I think it's doable. In my cute bag that June made me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. it's adorable. That is cute. <laughs> Mine's all crumpled. I appreciate it. Every time I pull it out, I'm like, oh, June, you're such a good sewist. Oh, <laughs> thank you. That is cute. Yeah, that is cute. I need to unbury my sewing machine. Mm -hmm. It got kind of buried in our spare room with other stuff, but I need to pull it out again. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Carrie and I have the same way. Yep. Yeah. We're working I'm on it. The same test knit for Hannah Sandler. Gorgeous. Mm. I'm not as far as I'd hope to be, but this is actually my plan for the weekend is I'm going to be not doing anything but knitting. Yeah. I'm just going to take it easy this weekend. Yeah, good. You should. Relax. And you still have gotten pretty far. Mm -hmm. 
watch some good TV shows that people are yes. recommending. And that's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. The color is so nice. Look at it's you so and I gorgeous. together, honestly. Oh, yeah. It's going to look good. We should do our yeah. finished photos together. You should. <laughs> yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah, you should. So this is the interthreading cardigan. Um, it's, what weight is this, DK? Uh, yeah. 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 DK. Yeah. It's uh, pretty fun. Um, don't want to give too much away, I guess, because it is still a test knit. Um, but it's the um, pattern itself, I think, is a four row repeat. Yeah. And six no, six row. rows. Six row. Yeah. It's very engaging. Uh, because mine's a darker color at nighttime, mm. I kind of have to pay attention. Um, but it's not hard to do. It's got a, a nice like slip stitch all on the front of it, which is kind of cool. Oh. Yeah. Um, what else can we say? The construction, I think some of the construction things are going to be interesting, like from reading stuff, how like the butt, like we still have to knit the button bands onto this. Um, the sleeves are knit, knit separately. Yeah. yeah. And then attached. So yeah, um, so, I liked how she started it though. Oh, the way yeah. you like started on the back and then picked up your stitches to knit the front mm. and, then and then connected them together under yeah. the arm and stuff. It was neat how that it was. was. Oh, cool. Yeah. But yeah, I think yeah. you probably see the stitch pattern a little bit. Oh yeah, this. you can see it really good. Oh yeah, yeah. there's this it's really pretty. pretty. They're both gonna be gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. So the yarn that I'm using is, um, let me just pull it out, Ulysses, and it's in the color Merlot, <clears throat> and it comes like this. And this is uh, one of my my fast favorite yarns. I love using this yarn. Mm -hmm. I think you've used it before, right, Carrie? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. I bought it, but I haven't used it yet. Oh, but yeah. I'm going to buy this Merlot as a contrast color. Oh, yeah. It's pretty. I might have some mm. extra. Oh, really? It, yeah. Okay. Let, let me know. Like, yeah. wait until I'm done knitting this, mm -hmm. and then I can just give you my extra. Because yeah. I bought the blush, and I think that would just look It amazing. would, but... yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty color. Um, yeah, and it's fun. It's kind of got... I don't know. It's got a spongy feel to it. Mm -hmm. No, I know. It's great. Yeah. And when you wash it, it softens up amazingly. Like it's, yeah. it's very wearable yarn. Yeah. And then I knit mine in, uh, the knitting loft, um, their cheeky DK and the colorway is honey. Love it. I'm going to feel it. Ooh, feel that's it. nice too. It's like got a silk feel mm -hmm. to it. It's yeah. gorgeous. It'll be yeah. a little more drapey. Ooh, I love than it. This one. But I love them both. I was saying to mm -hmm. to June and Carrie that I wish I was further along because I really want to <laughs> wear it like right now. Yeah. I am so excited to have this cardigan finished. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I need more cardigans in my life. Yeah, I too. wear a lot of cardigans, mm -hmm. like for work and stuff. I always have a cardigan on, yeah. and I'd rather have one that I knit than yes. one that I bought. Totally. So I'm looking forward to yeah having a cardigan on. Okay. And I have another whip actually that I started <clears throat> today. It's a test knit for Lisa Hands, and it I is saw that. oh, what's it do? It's called Grass. Sorry, I have to look it up. <laughs> da, da, da. Grass field, the grass field scarf. Oh, uh, um, cute. Yeah, so it's not very far along, and it's because of the pattern, it's kind of bunched up. But once it's blocked, I think it's going to be mm -hmm. really, really nice. Um, it's got a very interesting pattern so far that is, and it's all the way cool. through and it'll be reversible nice it's, it's like nice bubbly it's like 3d or yeah, something yeah you can kind of see it like that right yeah mm -hmm. oh it's so pretty yeah it is like pretty. the color mm -hmm. me too so this will be i think the test timeline is three weeks so next time we podcast it'll be released and um mine will be finished so i can show it this yarn that I'm using, so it's a DK weight, although she does say that you, you know, gauge isn't too important and you can modify it to use any weight. 
you just might need more or less yarn than the pattern calls for. Yeah. Um, so I'm using Willow and Lark yarn that it's in Ramble is the um, name of it. And uh, it doesn't say a color on here. Kind of a gray blue color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like it. And this yarn I bought many, 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 many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really, really happy that I found it when I was looking through my stash. And uh, Lisa liked it, so I'm like, I'm going to use it. Yeah, it's yeah. so nice. Yeah, it's really, I think once blocked, it's going to be like super soft. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Yeah. But not too heavy for a scarf yeah. either. Yeah. It almost has like a purple hue to it. But almost like a lot of Yeah. 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 These stitch markers are so cute. Aren't they? I've cute? never seen anything like that. These are um I should next time that we podcast I'll bring up my little box of them, but I think they're from Coco Knits. Mm. Um and they come in a little box about this size with four sections and um and different sizes and different colors and it's like a drawer I, I, I'll bring it next time to show you guys. I also so, enjoy the smiley face oh yeah me too yeah, the smiley face mm -hmm. yeah cute. it's really cute keep me smiling uh -huh. <laughs> nice yeah so pretty excited I, and Lisa hasn't released a pattern in a while she's had some health issues so I was so excited to see she was looking for test knitters and signed oh, up right away. I saw <laughs> it, but I was late because I hadn't been oh, on Ravelry oh. for a few days. And then all of a sudden, yeah. I saw it. I was like, oh, shoot. Yeah. I should have let you guys know. I saw it just today, too, but yeah. I didn't even read it like because I was looking up something else. Oh, so. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, very nice. I have one more. Okay. Um, and it's from, I showed it on the last podcast, but I did work on it a little bit. I think quite a bit. When I just... I brought it to an appointment. Yeah. yeah. So last time I hadn't gotten to the heel yet. Do you yeah. have the other one knit? Yeah. Yeah, I thought yeah. so. So um, this is the Christmas that the twenty four Advent. Mm -hmm. Advent. Yeah. Twenty three. Twenty twenty three Advent. Right. Twenty twenty three. Oh, twenty four <laughs> stripes. Sorry, twenty four <laughs> stripe. I'm not completing my sentences <laughs> <All right. laughs> as usual. <laughs> you guys have to decipher what I say. <laughs> yeah. By the cozy knitter, right? It's so pretty, yeah. Yeah. So I was late to the game. I actually think I ordered mine after Christmas. <laughs> but I couldn't help it because I saw Pies and Carries and thought that is the cutest color oh my gosh. ever. I loved her, her Christmas 2023 color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. And much different than she's done in years past that mm -hmm. I've seen anyways. Yeah. Yes. Because it's like a gradient or a rainbow. It's like a rainbow. Mm -hmm. So pretty. Yeah. So I can't wait oh, to finish this cute. one. And I didn't get, um, they didn't have any le kits left when I ordered mine. So I just used what I had in stash. Uh -huh. um, full moon fibers. Uh -huh. Just their bare fingering soft weight. Perfect. And I really like it because it's like thick. It is. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Yeah, so almost done. And what heel? Oh, uh, Shadow Wrap. Shadow Wrap. Yeah. Which it I love. really good. I have it memorized now, so. Yeah. Okay. I good. I'm good. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good heel. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you get, like, after doing a, the sock, like, I went through the whole repeat of color, like, from the. You get a whole other sock. Yeah, you get a whole. Because I did two pairs. Oh, yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. You did yeah. do two. Yeah. Which is amazing. And I am knitting a pair of knits with yeah. my last, with my leftovers, but I haven't finished the second one, so I'll try to do that for the next, yeah. next podcast. Nice. I have a lot to do for the next podcast. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and then you have nice winter mitts for next I'm almost year. done it, actually. For the mitt, I just literally <laughs> have to do, like, the fingers. Nice. And cool. Then, and then the thumb. So. Cool. <laughs> This is the last whip I have, so I'll show it quickly. Oh my gosh. And I showed this the last time as one that I was going to work on. So I actually marked. So when I showed this last podcast, it was right here. So I have made progress oh. on my Inclinations Cowl oh my gosh. by Andrea Mallory. Nice. So I think I have like 
two more rows of increasing to do, and then I'm going to start my decreasing. Yes, it looks so good. It's so nice. I really want to cast on another mm -hmm. one of these. Yeah, I'll it's so, like, it. squishy. This is a cute stitch marker, it's too. A... It's a little love bug. Yeah. <laughs> I think it came with... Um, Timber Yarns Love oh, Bug Colorway nice. yeah, was the... This um, cowl will look nice with your new cardigan. Oh, oh yes yeah. it will. <laughs> <laughs> that is gorgeous. So I'm using the um, Shopple Edition 3 for it. So these are the two colors that are in it. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Goes so good. It does. Yeah. I um, wear mine. I made one as well, like a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. and I wear it all the time, like to the point where I just had to rewash it. Because <laughs> yeah. I don't know, you know, when you wear it around your mouth yeah. and it gets oh, yeah. a little ugh, yuck. So oh, it's so cozy feeling. So the one struggle I will mm -hmm. say is, so it's fisherman's rib. Okay. And I have yet to master knitting back on fisherman's it's hard. rib. Oh. It's hard. So there was a row <laughs> up here somewhere. Yeah, right here. You can kind of see a little. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I was like, forget it. I'm not so fixing well. it. I'm just going to yeah. keep going. So it's just like one little blip. But I, by the time it's all done and it's like wrapped around your neck. Oh, you're not going to no, see, see it. Yeah. No, I don't either. Totally. I still I, can't see it. No, but. me either. Mm -hmm. Looks amazing. Yeah. So I'm pretty impressed that it was here when I last showed. That's awesome. All this done. So. Good job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe next podcast you'll have it done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once I start decreasing, it'll go faster. Yeah, that's right? true. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's all my whips I have. Cool. I'm done too. Me too. Uh, do we have any acquisitions? I have zero. I don't have any acquisitions. Um, well, I'm going to show a couple of books that I got. And I wanted to show these last time, but we went so long. Mm. This one I want to show um, specifically because I think it's really sweet because my dad bought it for me for my birthday. <laughs> he asked me for ideas and I gave him some and this is what he picked. Cute. Um, so this is the uh, Knit Like a Latvian Accessories. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful book. And it has, I think all the patterns in here have, or oh. most of them have the Latvian braid, which I have yet to master. So I'm going to knit in like this Latvia. book. Yeah, I'm going to try. That's so pretty. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Um, lots of beautiful, cute scars. There's hats in here, too. Um, also some gloves. Cute. Beautiful pictures. I mean. mm -hmm. Oh, I love Gray. that. Gray. Love it. So nice. Uh, headbands. That's what I want. Mm -hmm. Is a headband. Yeah. Paris wants me to knit her a headband. That's pretty with the Latvian braid framing. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It is there. Um, there was a pattern in here that I really wanted to do. Oh, there's another headband. Yeah, there's a few. I'll let you look through it in just a second. Oh, another one. Oh, this That's is the one. Cool. The Young for Paris? Or yeah. The one? That's nice. For Paris. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, she'll look in that. Yeah. 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 And for myself. Oh, I'm going to have to borrow this to make a beret. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Where is it? Where are you? Oh. Those oh. are pretty. Did my nest one? We just browsed through our books. <laughs> yeah, it was Oh, nice. those are so cute. In those co in that color. Oh too. my gosh, so pretty. Mm -hmm. Nice. I don't oh, know. That was such a nice gift. For I them. know. I know. I thought that was super nice. <laughs> Um, and then a couple of designers actually came out with new sock books mm. and I pre-ordered both of these when I saw that they were coming out with books. Um, the first one is called the summer or the sock project and it's by summer Lee. That's what it looks like. Fun. Yeah. 
And uh, it's got a ton of socks in here. And I think all different weights. Very cool. Different, and it's full of uh, like different mm -hmm. techniques and great, like illus the illustrations are amazing. I love her socks. Yeah, they're so cute. And then somewhere there's patterns. So that's a great book. Some patterns that are included. 25 socks. I wonder if there's. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, there's another. Some more. And they all, um, so there's different, if you want to call them chapters, that use different techniques mm -hmm. um, with patterns that go along with those techniques, which is really cool. Cool. Lace, Lace socks. socks. The other one was stripe socks. Yeah. That is really cool. Color work. It's a beautiful book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then... Um, the other one, I forget who she is on Instagram. Do you remember? Mm -mm. Do you know her? Mm -mm. Nope. Let's see if I can find her. She. Cool. It shows you how to like do afterthought know. heels and like how to cut it. Very cool. Oh, she's just called Julianne Knitter. Um, and you probably have seen her maybe out there. She has, uh, I think she has a patronage as well that you can sign up for. Um, and maybe, does she have a podcast? Anyways, I think she's really cute. She has two adorable twin, or um, she has adorable twin daughters. Um, Oh, she's called um, t uh, Twin Stitches. Oh, yeah. I think I've heard of Twin Stitches. Twin Stitches Designs. And she published a sock book as well. And it's called Knit a Box of Socks. And it's got Ooh, all of these. Yeah, yeah. And uh, also, this book has different weights and different... Um, sock construction as well and uh, so some of them might have like a little bit of color work on them. Those are pretty. Yeah. Those are cute. Mm -hmm. This looks like it might be a uh, heavier weight. So a DK weight. Looks more like a vanilla sock, but it's really cute. Some striped socks. Oh, I like the sheep. Sheep design. <laughs> cute, eh? Mm -hmm. Very cute. <laughs> uh, this one's called Pineapple Crush. Oh, it looks like a pineapple. It does. Oh, there, and then this oh, one I wanted to show you. It looks like a watermelon. Oh, that's very, very cute, cute, eh? Um, I think she includes uh, a number of sizes because she has children as well. Yeah, toddler, child, adults, uh, small, adult, small, adult, medium, adult, large. So, oh, and cool. then in, yeah, and then in, as June pointed out in the corner, she puts the difficult, like a difficulty rating for nice. the, her patterns. Which is nice. Mm, that's very aesthetically pleasing. It is. The whole thing. This one this is too. called nice. birthday sprinkles. <laughs> Cute. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Cute, yeah I just eh? thought yeah. this is the most beautiful wrap. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's it so pretty. It'd be so warm too. It would take a while. <laughs> yeah. It's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah so those nice are some books. books. Recent books. I love buying knitting books. Mm -hmm. I think they're, I have quite a library actually mm -hmm. of them. <laughs> I used to buy knitting magazines all the time. Oh yeah. And I still too. have all of them. And yeah. Um, and then the only other acquisition, oops, sorry for the crinkling, that I want to show, <laughs> I know, today, 
is um, from Timber Yarns. So Timber Yarns is actually a local dyer to us, like in Ontario anyways. Okay. And, Maybe an hour uh, away from us. Yeah, Whoa. yeah. And she has, they kind of, it's like a marled yarn um, in DK. So she has these DK um, marled Cute. sock sets. And I kept seeing her post them and finally I just broke down and bought some because I thought... They were so nice. They're so nice. So and like, I bought three. Aww. <laughs> oh my gosh, so nice. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Um, so do they have names? So this one's called Neon Pink. I like this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Me too. Uh this one is Cake Boss. <laughs> Pretty. Chocolate cake. Yeah. And licorice. That's so nice. Wow, beautiful. Yeah. So we were just talking at the beginning that Leo and Roxy stopped selling. So Marl the Marl, so here we go. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Yeah. And the, it's DK. And I don't oh, have no. a lot of, or DK oh, weight, work so socks. I don't, yeah, mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of DK socks. So oh, I'm really excited to cast this yarn on and make some. Because they go a little quicker, right? Yeah. yeah. These are so nice. And then with my package, she gave me, sent me some adorable uh, needlepoint stoppers. Little gnomes. Aww. Yeah. Those are cute. Very cute. And some hot chocolate. <laughs> this is signature to what Heather sent you. Mm -hmm. It's like always a pack of hot chocolate, which I think is yeah. really nice. And it's good yeah. hot chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the gnomes are cute. All you need is love. Very nice. nice. Yeah. Yeah. So that's everything for me. Awesome. Yeah. Do you guys have any whips that you're going to work on um, or pulled out or anything? I'm going to work on the yeah. sweater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me too. The test knit and mm -hmm. the cowl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's Those are my three focuses. Mm -hmm right now before I pull anything else out. Okay. Yeah, yeah me too. Mm -hmm. The sweater, um, the cardigan test knit, and then the new scarf test knit, mm -hmm. for sure, yeah. will be done when we podcast again. Mm -hmm. And then I really want to, I showed this one, I think, last time, get this finished, and it's by Sweater Freak. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, this cute. one. The so, X's and O's or something? The X's and O's yeah. shawl. Yeah. I, oh, that's backwards. So pretty. That's I so know. Cute. I just want to wear it. Yeah. It's so soft. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try to get that one done as well. Nice. That's my goal. <laughs> Mine's nice. What I brought, the sweater, the socks, and then the sweater of my friends. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The super simple yes. summer sweater. Yes. And you're so close to finishing close. that one. Yeah. Yeah. I you should do, definitely I do the arms. No, I have to do the arms. I think you had one almost one done. Arm. Done. Yeah. yeah. So one arm and the ribbon yeah. at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. All right. Um, yeah. So we have our knit along going on in Ravelry. Yeah. For your, all your whips. And when you finish them, make sure you post your finished objects in the FO thread. Um, and so I'm going to get a prize together, a new prize together for the next time we podcast. And I will post a photo of the new prize in the threads Perfect. so you can see what it's going to be. Okay. So <laughs> then the next time we record, we will draw another winner. Yes. Mm -hmm. Of your FOs. And then don't forget to comment on this video, what you're reading, what you're watching, what's your favorite book, what is your favorite show. Um, and we'll draw... I'll probably throw some other little things in there as well, but this this on its own is absolutely stunning. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it really is. Yeah, so don't forget to subscribe, comment, mm -hmm. of course. Like. Like. <laughs> Send us love. Yeah. <laughs> we need all the love we can get. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I all think right. that's it. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Hope everyone's doing well and has a good few weeks ish. Sorry for all the giggles. Yes, yeah, yeah. we were a little punchy today, yeah, that's we for were. sure. That's okay. It was fun. <laughs> we had a good time. We, we did. did. <laughs> all right. Thanks, everybody. Talk Bye. to you soon. Bye. Bye. Happy giving.